hey guys so today we're going to be looking at what storage option you should go for when buying a new macbook so the mac the new macbook pros go from 256 gigs to two terabytes so what option should you get is 256 gigs enough or should you go overkill and go for the two terabyte option believe me you don't want to make a mistake here and regret it later so make sure to watch the whole video so you don't make a wrong decision so first thing to consider when choosing what storage option you should go for is what's your use case if you're going to be needing a lot of memory on board on the hard drive it's probably because you need to download a lot of applications if you use a lot of applications for example you're a video editor you're a programmer or you're a graphical designer or a music producer and you need a lot of storage for applications alone then go for a option that's higher than 256 gigs like the 512 gig variant or the 2 terabyte vari variant right but if you're not going to need all that uh, space for applications well the best option for you and the, and the best budget option for you is to go for the 256 gig and buy an external solid state drive which is going to be almost the same speed and it's also going to cost way less than what Apple charges for storage. So the disc, the external disk we have here is a SanDisk Extreme. It has 500 GB of storage and it was like 50 bucks. So it's way cheaper than what Apple offers. And if you don't need that much space for applications, go for the 256 gig version and buy an external drive. Also, you could go for an external hard drive which usually tend to be cheaper than solid state drives. Do note you're going to be seeing a hidden performance, but I also have a hard drive that's one terabyte and costs lesser than my 500 and 500 gig solid state drive. So if you want cheap storage, go for a hard drive, but it's not going to be as fast. But if you do need a lot of space for applications, you should consider this. They need more than 200 GB of uh, uh, space for applications then go for the 512 gig version do you need more than 400 or 300 gig of application storage go for the one terabyte do you need more than 700 gb which is extreme right you don't need that much or you want to use your mac as a backup machine go for the two terabyte version but i don't recommend going for anything over one terabyte right even one terabyte is pretty overkill but going over that to two terabyte I think that's just too much and you can get better prices from external sources like the external SSD we've got here. You could easily find an SSD that's 2 terabytes and costs way less than what Apple is offering on their website. So you don't want to go overkill and spend too much but you also don't want to go under. Right? You don't want to buy a 256 gig version and realize you need more storage for applications. You don't want to do that. Yeah, on the new Macs, you can't add uh, additional storage to your Mac. You need to go and buy a new one, right? You, you, at that point, you're returning or selling your MacBook Pro, which is not economical at all. So better consider what I said. Go for a higher storage version if you need a lot of storage for applications and stuff that are, that can't be stored in an extra external SSD. But if the folders and files can be stored in an external SSD, Go for the 256k version. I just like this. So that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you really enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button down below. I'm going to be making more videos on the MacBook Pro. So if you just got a new MacBook, make sure to turn on the bell notifications. Because I'm sure these videos are going to help you. That's it. And I'll see you in another one.